This Ghana artist medical said, the only Nigeria artist way who passed me that did it do, I swear. The only Nigeria artist richer than him is just David O. That means richer than someone like Whiskey, Bonaboy, Ruga, Rema, or Lamide, just to name few of them. Medical. I've never heard about this guy. The first time hearing about this guy is when he tweeted this. And it's quite big in Ghana. Has over 3 percent million followers on Instagram alone. And guess who is his mentor? Shatawale. The last time someone boasted like this in Ghana, an artist boasted like this in Ghana, that artist lost everything. Lost his fame. In fact, he's now praising Nigerian. And that's his idol, Shatawale. I think Shatawale need to school him and tell him, see, you do not mess with Nigerians. You don't. I know he's about to drop an album, maybe he's about to go on the tour or about to do something with his life when it comes to entertainment in business in Ghana. That is why he's calling out Nigeria. That is why he's trying to get Nigeria attention. So firstly, I want to apologize to all Nigerians, eh? to all of you watching this video right now. I want to apologize that I'm even giving this guy little few minutes of my time talking about him. Well. Like I've said before, his idol is Shatawale. He's very good friends with Shatawale. If you check his social media pages, you'll see how he imitates Shatawale. Even when Shatawale traveled to the United States of America and posed with a Rose West claiming that he bought it, he was there with Shatawale, also posting with other cars, claiming that he also bought it. So it's the same road. He's Shatawale's boy. Your own Oga, Shatawale, has learned the hard way that you don't mess with Nigerians when it comes to some certain things. Your own Oga, Shatawale, has learned his lesson. Shatawale now is now an advocate for Nigerian music in Ghana. Anybody talking heel of Nigerian music in Ghana, Shatawale being an ambassador to Nigeria, <laughs> Being an ambassador to Nigerian music entertainment, huh, is the one that even fighting them over there in Ghana. Your own boss is an advocate for Nigerian music entertainment industry. Even as at the time, uh, Black Sheriff and some other local musicians were trying as much as possible to say no more Nigeria music. They should be playing Nigerian music 100% in Ghana club, in Ghana uh, parties. Shatawale was the first person to come out and blast the hell out of them. Shatawale, you need to call this your boy, medical, hmm, to order. Because he will learn the hard way. He's going to learn the hard way if he's not called. If he's not called to order, he's going to learn the hard way. Have you ever heard about this guy before? Oh no, on a serious note. Have you ever heard about this guy called... Uh, um, medical before. It's quite really popular in Ghana. I don't know how Ghana keep producing whack musicians. And why do Ghana have to just feel like the only way for them to break into, to have that popularity, that international popularity, is to, is to talk ill about Nigerians. Is to talk ill about Nigerian musicians. Why don't you learn from people like uh, Sakodia? Why don't you learn from people like uh, King Promise, who is still enjoying himself till now? Why don't you learn from people like uh, Stoneboy, who is rubbing shoulder with us? Why don't you learn from them? Now you're going to you're going to act as if you are praising Davido. Meanwhile, you are disrespecting others. You are disrespecting uh, someone like uh, Bonner Boy and Whiskey. And let me be honest with you guys: even Davido do not want this smoke. When it comes to who is the richest, David Doe will never compare himself to say, okay, David Doe has severally compared himself to be the richest. But as of now, David Doe do not want this smoke. David Doe is rich. But in my list, I do not place David Doe as the richest musician currently in Nigeria. In my list, I'm going to place like uh, Bonner Boy first. In fact, 
I, I, I think I shouldn't even have a list of the richest because they are all doing well. But if I'm talking about as at last year, 2023, the artists who really, really did well, I'm going to give it to Bonner Boy first, then I give it to uh, uh, David O second, then Whiskey Todd. Whiskey still sold out a lot of shows, but you know that towards the end of last year, it was a little bit uh, you know, down because of uh, his late mom. Medical be one, man. You can't you can't even get your life straight. You can't even keep your own girl who recently left you for another man. And now you're trying to make it look like you are praising David Doe in order to blast someone like Border Boy and uh Whiskey. Come on, man. Shatawale will teach you. Shatawale, who is your boss, going to teach you that see you do not come for Nigeria. Why don't you come? Like, I don't understand. Any Ghana artists, you want to blow by shading Nigerians. Why don't you blow in another way? Why don't you talk good? Why don't you collaborate with our artists like others? Collab is just shared hatred towards our entertainment. Pure one, nothing else, nothing more. Pure, straightforward. You won. Your boss, Shatawale, learned the hard way. Shatawale, a Ghanaian, is now advocating for Nigerian music. In, in fact, Shatawale severally said they want to become a, a Nigeria. If Shatawale was given an opportunity to be a Nigeria overnight, eh? Shatawale would choose to be a Nigerian. Hmm? Shatawale would choose to be a Nigerian. So please, eh? don't ever. Don't ever make reference of such thing again in your life. Hmm? Be one. If not, you are going to learn the hard way. Yeah. You are going to learn the hard way. So don't let Nigeria focus on you. And meanwhile, to end this video, let's forget about that guy. Just to rub Matt a little bit, let's talk about this issue. So check out this uh, tweet from this woman. Uh, Mahmoud. Mahmoud said, uh, Saudi Prince Al Walid and his wife Amira dressed in Louis Vuitton. The hijab, Baka, and hijab do not apply to the rich. Of course, you see this Saudi uh, Prince Bilonia and his wife who is uh, showing uh, legs and uh, of course no hijab and everything. Then they are kind of like saying that uh, the Islamic law only applies to the poor. The Islamic law, the job only applies to the poor. Okay, let me make this straight to you guys. Let me try to re-educate some of you who might just be talking in my own little way. For example, eh? for example, hmm? for example, even in the, the Christian home, hmm? There are laws and rules and regulations set in place for the way that you should serve God, for the way that you should serve God. But some pastors, some followers directly or indirectly disobey God. That doesn't make, that doesn't make the gospel, that doesn't make the gospel not to be true. That doesn't make the gospel wrong. Or that doesn't water down the gospel. The gospel is the gospel. It can never change. That is just the way it is. If you want to disobey, you disobey. It's, it's left for you. Like the hijab. Like the hijab is compulsory for a woman to cover her hair. But it's not by force. It's advisable and compulsory. But if you refuse to wear it, that is left for you. If you refuse to wear it, that is left for you. But in some society, they make it... Uh, in some society, they apply force that you must wear a hijab. Then I think that society should cost across everybody, both the rich and the poor. So, the Islamic teaching is not wrong. 
But the people implementing that Islamic teaching are the ones that are biased. And they are going to reap what they sow. They are going to reap the reward of what they are doing. The Islamic teaching is not wrong. The Islam in the Quran is not wrong. The hadith is not wrong saying that you should, it's, it's, it's good to cover your, to wear a hijab and cover up. It's not wrong. When a society that is being enforced should cut across the rich and the poor. But unfortunately, it doesn't cut across. But they will pay for it because they are biased, they are not just.